Welcome to my project ideas and we are here with another SAP ABAP project. In the previous project we have discussed how exactly you can create a calculator in ABAP. In this project we are going to discuss dynamic screen creation using SAP ABAP. So this will be a current operation where we will be playing with the screen. So there are some prerequisites. So you need to know or you need to create some tables. So employee basic tables will be created. So we have created a tables will showcase the fields that we are using and the tables will be employee info then employee salary info and then employee address info and you should also be aware regarding sql operation and the events in a classical report so we are not going to discuss sql operations and events but uh, we'll showcase the code and we assume that you already know this stuff in case you are not aware we'll be dropping the link in the comment or the description both and you can go and research and learn about it okay so so the very first thing i will ask you to visit this uh, website gocoding.org and just visit this particular page we'll be also adding this uh, link in the description so since we have already discussed we will be doing crud operation so crud stands for create read update and delete so if you go to any website or any portal in the world, the basic operations that they are doing is also same. Create, it means you are adding data and table. Read, it means you are fetching data from the table. Update, you are modifying a data within a table that is already created. And delete, it, it means you are removing a data that was there and you don't need anymore. So we'll take an example of Facebook. So this is the landing page of Facebook, right? And if you see that uh, they have given some options to enter the first name, last name, and other details. So when you enter these details and click sign up, so what they do, they just uh, you know create a record in their table. So now the creation is done. And when you open your profile, you see something by default, right? Something loads your name loads on. So your name is something that you have provided them, right? Earlier when while doing sign up. So this is called fetch operation or read operation. So from CRUD, create and read is done. Now suppose you want to update uh, a few details of your uh, name or uh, something else you want to change. So you go to settings and you go to general account settings and you start updating it. So those operations are done using update calls. And in the end, suppose you want to delete your profile. You want to like go away from Facebook. Many people are leaving Facebook now. So if you want to do that, then you go to deactivate or delete your account. In that use case, your data is deleted from their table. So in this way, you see all the operations are in and out CRUD operations. So we are going to perform the same thing here. So before coming to the code part, we'll just go to SAP uh, logon and uh, we'll go to SE11. And I will just show you the tables that we have uh, already created for you. So the very first table is called ZBarry EMP. So in this particular table, we have added a few fields. I'll be uh, adding these field names in the description and or you can take the screenshot or you can take the, you know, the reference from the website itself. The screenshot is there also and uh, you can enter the same field that, that way we have created. And okay, so we'll go back and check it out other tables. The second table is employee address. After taking a basic info, we also go through and check these out. And the last thing is you go and check salary. And these field names are like uh, the basic field that is actually used by, you know, uh, people uh, using uh, people that create invoices in industries. So it is like a basic page there, then transport page there, some variable pays are there. So anything we have created by default and we have also created a data element. This data element is itself in four. So if you see, we have created three tables and one data element, that's it. And we've also maintained data in all these tables. So we have not displayed, we'll be displaying in the uh, report itself, but I will display just for one of them. So for employee ID one and two, we have maintained a few records. So employee one is Rudramani Pandey, employee two is Mohammad Sawkeep Siddiqui. 
okay then so we'll jump to se38 so if you are already aware that we use se38 portal to create a pro program or report and i will just call it z dynamic uh, underscore emp and nothing is there i will just give a title dynamic report it is an executable program and i guess that's it right a local object and we'll just activate so we have an empty report it was already created i'll come back to this portal i will copy the code and paste the code in case you will not create table it will start giving error that z barry emp is not there or this uh, z barry salary is not defined something like that uh, will start appearing so we'll just save it out also if you'll uh, like just activate and start running your program so you will see uh, these things are not defined you know radio button names employee ID names so for that you need to go to utilities I believe uh, in utilities, right? Or uh, yeah, actually, you need to go to attributes and text symbols. Select some text. So these things are not defined. So I will just define anything. CT name, by ID, first name, last name. Uh, the very first uh, button is uh, read operation and the second operation is create i already know right because i have created the program last uh, second last is update and the last one is delete perfect now we can go back reactivate just run it out Somehow it is not activated. Yeah. Fine. So now we can uh, perform these operations. So I will just uh, check for employee ID one. What is all there? So the very first uh, record is coming for the first table. That is uh, the basic details. Second is the address details. And the third record is employee details uh, salary details and if, uh, after that also we have calculated something you know some total salary in hand salary we are calculating tax some conditions we have added so if you see this report is dynamic because it is uh, getting data from three different tables and also it is performing some calculations if i go back i can even create some records so suppose i create a record for deepak ram in stage in Kolkata is my friend, and I will just click on execute. ID is wrong because ID was already there, so we'll just go back. I give it ID as three. I click on create again. Um, on Kolkata, employee is recorded. Perfect. So I'll just go to slash OS E11. Check out details of Deepak if Deepak is added or not. And I will just go to table content, display, run all, and Deepak is there. Other details are not there because we have not created friends for that. But we wanted to showcase that you can do everything, right? So again, if you try to read it out. Not everything will come because we have not maintained those data but in two tables we have maintained a few data if you see the first table has the name and the second table has the city address okay so we think uh, Deepak might change you know his locations from Kolkata or if I go to you know uh, read again see the details of uh, Sakib and he is staying in Noida and I believe he's, he will be changing his location to Dharadun. So I will just change his location to Dharadun. Click Execute. Employee record updated. And again, I can go back and see the city name is changed to Dharadun. Perfect. 
So create update is working fine. Read is already working fine. Deepak's detail is empty, so I don't want it in my database. So I'll just delete it out. So now it's deleted. So if I try to read, there is nothing, right? Nothing, nothing is stored. If I go back to the table, go to utilities, table content, display, run the table, Deepak is gone. Perfect. So now you have seen the operation, what all we can perform using this dynamic report. So now we'll just go and deep dive into the code. So what exactly we have done? The very first thing is like, I've just copied and pasted the code. So first section is a table. So ZBarry MP is a table from where we are actually fetching the basic info. And we have created a internal table and work area based on the same table. Also, we have created internal table and work area based on address table internal table and salary table, salary work area based on the work area table. And then we have uh, defined a few, you know, fields, variables based on the data element that I have created uh, for salary. So it is in four. And then we have uh, created something called parameter, right? Where we are entering uh, the employee ID and the selection screen starts where we are you know, doing the manipulation. And here we have provided the radio buttons. So four radio buttons appear like this. And on click of that, what exactly will happen will be uh, maintained later on in add selection screen output. Also, we have some parameters called first name, last name, and city. These will only appear in case uh, a particular radio button is chosen. So we'll see when we try to activate and deactivate this particular section. So at selection screen output, if you see, we have uh, something called PA1, PA2, PA3, and PA4 is not mentioned because PA4 is just uh, doing a CRUD operation. So all these three radio buttons are doing some operations. So PA1, if the radio button is activated, the screen active is zero. If radio button is, uh, again, second is activated, the screen active is one. So if you remember what happens, so we have a screen which have these parameters, right? And these only appear in case you perform create or update, not during delete or read, right? So during read, this is inactive. During delete is inactive, but the screen becomes active during create and update. We'll check it out. A section will appear here. It will be activated only during create and update to delete and read it is gone right same thing we have maintained here perfect so for all the you know, uh, operations we have uh, activity deactivated these uh, functionalities will come down so now we have also written some code for auto populating data so auto population is done only in case of Radio button three that is update. So if we have update call, we take the employee ID, whatever you have added, and bring all data from the table. All the table actually, only two tables we are fetching from right now, and we are adding them inside the first name and last name. So we'll see right now. So if we have employee number two, we click on update, it brings these two data, right? It is bringing from table Z Barry underscore EMP. So why exactly I need it? Because uh, I need to know for which employee I'm changing the city, right? So from employee ID, I will not be very much aware. So that's why I'm given this functionality. Perfect. So as of now, I've shown you the activation, deactivation of the uh, some parameters. I will show the auto population based on the selection of a radio button. Now the third part. So this is the part where based on each operation, I am either fetching the data or performing some manipulation. Okay. So suppose uh, if I have chosen the radio button as a third one and I have changed the CD name. Now I need to change this in respective table also, right? So two upgrade operation I have written here. Based on the employee ID, if I'm changing the first name, last name, I will change in the ZBarry EMP. And again, based on the employee ID, if I'm changing the address, which is actually only the CD part, 
then it will be changing the respective city name in Gbarry address, right? So for Sakib Siddiqui, I changed from Noida to Dehradun. So these operations are being performed here. And again, we have done some error handling. If suppose something fails, some wrong ID is entered. So we showcase the same thing here. Now, this is the part where we are actually displaying data. So if you remember on selection of our employee ID, we fetch from three different tables and showcase the data. So if you see the first table is called here, we get the data and showcase here. Second table is called here, dress, we get the data, showcase it. And the third part is here, where we get the data from the salary. And again, uh, we are just printing it out. So after this is done, we are also like doing some calculation. So the calculation part is very simple. So what we do is like uh, we get the salary info. And based on that, we are adding if the salary is more than this, we say, uh, you know, if it is less than this, we say while well, no tax. If it is more than that, we say, okay, you have to pay some tax. Yeah, that's it. So since we have added details uh, where uh, we were not, you know, uh, having any data related to uh, salary which was greater than 10,000 so that's why no tax was detected so okay so last part uh, is the part where we are inserting data so if uh, uh, if you remember I inserted data for Deepak so that part is written here it is very simple we are just getting the data inserting it in respective tables and again, the last part is uh, the deletion part where we deleted Deepak's data. So we are again just fetching based on employee ID and calling Zbarry EMP and deleting the data. Okay, so that's it. We'll meet in another video. Thank you very much.